Yo, what's good, y'all? What's good, y'all? What's good, y'all? I'm back in, man. What's good? What's good? Let's get this shit tapped in. Waiting for everybody to come in, man. I ain't go crap to you. I literally just woke up. Literally just woke up a little bit, just a little a little after. But what's good, y'all? How y'all living today? This beautiful Wednesday. Oh, uh, what's good? Steven Stacks, what's good, man? How you living, man? It's going to be a lit episode. Make sure y'all tune in tonight. It's going to be a very delicious and very intense episode tonight. Before I get into it. Shout out, shout out, shout out everybody popping out. What's good, y'all? Tired up. Hey, hey, just give me a couple minutes. I got to wait for my partner, Bang Back Cherry, to jump in real quick before we add you in. But what's good, y'all? I know I start with the intro music, but I'm kind of a little bit late right now. Just trying to, trying to look bust down real quick. Shout out, shout, shout out everybody popping in, John. Shout out Tied Up. Shout out, uh, let them know, Lay. What's good, y'all? What's good, y'all? What's good, y'all? What's good, y'all? Waiting for my partner. If y'all want to join in right now, go get Maybach Cherry. Go find Maybach Cherry and let her know. Get on the live. We, all, we, live. we, we lit. We lit. We lit right now. But what's going on? Hey, Wi-Fi, come on. Stop fucking with me, man. I get you trying to try to get them in my way of my jams. I'm trying to jam real quick. But what's good, y'all? Yo, yo, yo. Hey. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling today? How y'all feeling today? Hey. All right. So what are we doing? I've been hearing, I've been hearing people been going crazy lately. People, but is this rap scene? Everybody trying, they trying, everybody trying to be a, a rapper. It's like it's like no other profession out here, bro. For black people, bro, like like black people can get rich off of any, can get off of other stuff too. But you know, we gonna get into, we gonna talk about it. We gonna make people a little pissed off today. Cause that I'm in that type of mood. I'm I'm in that piss, pissy off people mood today. Oh my, my baby, thank God, baby, you gave me some batteries. <laughs> my baby always got everything. My baby, anything I tell my baby to go get, she, she gonna she gonna fucking find it. She's she's, she's watching. It. <laughs> Ooh. Ain't no uh, Who watching? Who? My mom. No, 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 no. I don't know. She said she just wanted to see. I was like, okay. nah. You want me to turn it on? I'm alive, nigga. I, what are you talking about? Oh. Shit. Where's my phone? Nigga, when I tell you, my Maybach be all late and shit. Come on, bro. Yeah, y'all be known, bro. It don't be. It don't be me. I be on time. I'm the one that actually open the lot. I be on time, right? It don't be me, yo. Y'all need to get Maybach. When when she get on this joint, y'all need to get her on her ass. When I mean on her ass, y'all need to hold her accountable. And she be, cause she be coming talking to me. She talk to me mad crazy, yo. I ain't go cap to y'all, but she be talking to me mad crazy. She be like, oh, nigga. Da, da. I'm like, God damn, what the fuck? But, you know, it's all love, though. All fucking love. All fucking love. Right there, nigga. Your what? My phone. Oh, I don't know. You sit right there. <laughs> All right. I think I left okay. Let's get into the jams. I'm about to crank somebody's shit. I know I had a couple submissions earlier. Hey, shout out Dave V. Hoods and News, man. I ain't go cat, you know. Got some good promotion going on. Shout out my shout out my uh Spain team. Uh, rap gangster, shout out rap gangster too, man. They've been holding it down for me ever since I got on this joint. They've been holding it down, most definitely. Next week I got my label. I'm about to be. Ha- I'm gonna have my label on this joint. So like, a lot of artists from my label, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have on my li- uh, on this live next week. So I'm gonna be talking. I'll be talking mad crazy to them next week. People on my label. Um, if y'all don't know, I'm signed to Bentley Records, and I've been signed to Bentley Records for the last uh, year and a half now. So. Uh, Recently, like a couple months ago, I signed a um, two I, I had a two year more contract with them. So, 
Yeah, but I don't really talk about my me being sound like that for real. But uh We about to play something called Make Up Break Up. Oh, by title. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, we about to crank this joint. This is a guest tonight. So I'm repping the game today. Yeah, if you, if you ain't skinny, you ain't most definitely in game until they close. So most definitely. We, got, clothes. To... <laughs> we, got, we got bigger clothes. Oh, I right, right. Yeah, yeah, this, this, this guy made. I got, I got double check for my people out here because, you know, most definitely got double check for my people out here, yo. Yeah, we got bigger clothes. Well, yo, what's up? What's up? What's, let's, let's get into this week. What, what's, what's been going right, on? So what's new? What's we got to get straight into it because it's like, it's so many people on this week. Yeah. Shout out, out Days Delicious. Shout out Lil Bro. Hey, shout out Peso. Shout out Peso. I see you, Peso. Shout out Peso. Shout out Cassie. Shout out having it. You trying to play my song? Send your song through bossupdmv at gmail.com or tap him with me, Miss Bayback Cherry, please. But like I tell you, um, I'm about to, we about to get reckless on this podcast. Like we got a lot of guests, it's a full house tonight, so you know people might get in their feelings tonight because because niggas gonna be asking them questions I don't think motherfuckers asked them before. So let's get to it. it who should I add a, a title? Title up here. What? Tied up. Yep. Adam. Mhm. Mm all right, let's get to it. I was just playing the song. That was a song. It got a little R, Biggie John. That 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 like that's a little radio. Yo, salute, radio. salute, salute to y'all, man. What's up with y'all? Hey, what's good? What's good? Blessings. Yo, appreciate y'all having me, man. I really appreciate this for real. Thanks a lot, man. No problem. 
Thanks for showing love. How are you? Love on the song too. I appreciate that. I don't know. We most definitely gonna play again before we get out of here. I hope so. I hope so. Right. We got we got a packed house tonight. We got we got a lot of people coming on tonight. So we hope we hope to most definitely show love to everybody in music tonight. That's a bet. Yeah. Okay, so wanna give us a brief introduction of yourself so we can get straight into it? Yeah, sure. sure. Tied up. I go by Tied Up. That's my stage name. I play guitar, write music, um, sing, currently uh playing with Ambition Band. Okay. Um, got a lot of uh, side gigs. Hold on, just... hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta say something. Yeah. This is the first band member that we've had on our podcast. Oh, word. Hey. Oh, hey. hell yeah. Hey. That's fine. Hey. 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 Okay, yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Team, let's go. We've been trying to get the band it's, on here. It's a, it's a different <laughs> scene. <laughs> I get it. It's, it's, it's a unique scene, you know what I'm saying? Um, But I do that, and then I do, like, one-off stuff with, like, uh, artists on acoustic or electric, depending on what they want. So really, I'm just starting to get my name out there for real, for real. I'm, I'm just getting overwhelmed with like requests, which is a good thing. You know what I mean? You got a lot of uh, female artists and male artists, a lot of female artists really that never really played with a live guitarist. You feel me? And so like, um, I'm able to, I guess, you know, break it in for a lot of the females, you know what I'm saying? And um, it's been fun. It's, it's been it's been fun and it's been wild. It's been fun and wild. I'm gonna definitely tap. I'm trying to be one of the lead singers, okay. yo. I'm trying to find out my okay, so, crazy, man. Okay, so okay. so you're in a band. How long have you been doing music? Like, what's your history as far as Word. musician? All right, so I was what they call a basement guitarist for like most of my life. That means like you just by yourself in a basement. No one even knows you play. You don't go out. You just playing by yourself. Mm -hmm. I was that for like two years. I was that until two years ago, where I started a band, and at the same time, the manager for Ambition hit me up. He must have found some of my videos on YouTube, on um, Instagram. And so that's how I got in the scene. Before that, I ain't know nothing about playing live. I ain't know anything. Like, the networking thing wasn't my forte. Like, And so when the manager hit me up, I was like, yo, like, based, because of my plan and my goal and everything like that, I was like, yo, this is perfect to get my foot in the door as a singer-songwriter. Like, yeah, that's 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 my thing. I I, I don't want to put too much out there just because uh you know what I'm saying some manifestations they get disturbed if you put too much out there, but um I definitely want to become a, like a, a local known songwriter. You know what I'm saying that's that's the main goal. And Ambition Band was like the first people that allowed me to get the foot in the door. So okay. yeah. Okay, so what genre of music do you write? Okay, R R and B, R and B. Um, I, I got some rock songs because I grew up on rock music a lot, but. For the dynamic, for the demographic here so far, I just like focus on the R and B right now. Um, I, and some of the R and B songs. Area were like rock music too. It was just a, it was just the artist that was on um, DC artist that was doing rock, and he sound really really good. It yeah. almost had like a trap rock type of flow, but it was Word. lit. Uh, Word. Stop, Word. The cat. stop the cat. He did not sound like no rock. I don't know what type of rock that was. It is. It is um, some. It's it's mad people into rock though. It, it is mad people, but it's a smaller demographic, and I ain't really trying to chase that right now. I got like that's not that's not where I'm at right now. Uh, it might be some extra, but like my heart and moving people's hearts is in R&B right now. That's that's what moved me, and that's what I'm trying to use to like influence people like for right for right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I grew up right. more rock. Like, I don't know if you remember the TRL days, you know what I'm saying? Like, them joints, yeah, that was the reason why I picked up the guitar. Like, the TRL days right before 106 and Park and everything like that. So, you know, salute to the rock, but I don't know. The R&B kind of, I'm a female R&B head. I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay, so what's your favorite uh, female R&B song? My favorite female R&B song? Damn. Um, wow. <laughs> really? I mean, new or like, oh. It don't matter. My Pepper. Favorite art? I don't. I, I don't have a favorite art. It's, too, it's so many of them okay, right now. Okay, well, then give me two. Okay, right now I'm big on Jay Nova, Lay It Down, and um, L. Varner Leaf. I would say those are probably my favorites right now. L. Varner Leaf. She's the girl that did the Can I Get a Refill? That joint. Okay. Uh, and Jay Nova. She's like known for impersonations. She's like impersonates Beyonce online real good, but she got a beautiful song called Lay It Down. That joint. It's one of them just that I play in a car knowing that someone will ask who is it. You feel me? Okay. 
Uh, I want to come out here when he said that the demographic for for rock is is very small. Actually, the demographic for rock is actually pretty big. It's just it's just the demographic that you're chasing. That, I, I kind of was like, like what? Are you serious? Nah, no, but I didn't Are say it's small. Saying, I said it's not as big. The, the trends of music right now. Yeah, but like I didn't say it's it's not small. It's not small at all. But it's just not as big. No, as but I mean, if you're studying music trends then you should, you would definitely know the trap rock is coming. It's be, it's growing and def, definitely developing more and more. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, I mean, like, sure. being like, it's like a small demographic for that, it's really not. It's getting bigger no, and bigger and you can no, see. I, no, I'm not saying it's a, No, no, I'm not saying it's a non-demographic. No, I, I, I recognize it and knowledge the demographic. I think it's dope how many people are into rock. Um, I know a lot of people that are into rock, but like, say it again. Oh no, I was somebody was commenting uh, to me. Uh, okay, okay, yeah, but um, yeah, it's just, it's just not, it's not as big as the demographic for R and B in combination with it's not what my calling is right now. I mean, yeah, I mean, but you're, it's like, I. I as a as an A and R, I completely disagree with you as far as saying demographic. Like you could speak for yourself and say that's not your passion, like. But it's the demographic for R and B is more like smaller compared to rock. Like, I mean, rock is considered more mainstream. There's also like different variations, like alternative. Like you don't have to make like hardcore rock. It could be like something like Green Day, where people like how back in the day where. Jay Z and Green Day, how they was coming together and doing like rock, but now it's more heavier trap influence. So it sounds like rap, but with like pockets of rock. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like back in the days, Jay Z did it, but it was like a straight rock pop with Jay with a rock song with Jay Z on it. Versus now, it's like a reverse. But go ahead, Boots. Uh, like I say, the demographic for uh, rock, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a pretty young demographic. And actually, the genre for rock, actually, it grows it grows on with the youth. So they say, actually, the genre of rock is, is pretty proper all around the world. Yeah, so, that's, um, so I'm saying, like, we don't want you to limit yourself. If that's not, like, your passion, we get it. But it's like, you know what I mean? Like, being a songwriter, like, you could write, like, especially now, like, I don't know if you know, like, the song Sunflower, right? With Post Malone and Ray Shremmer. Yeah. How it's like so repeating. It's like over. I need a sister. I keep a check. She was all bad, bad, nevertheless. How it just keeps repeating. Like you really can make four freaking bars and just have them. You know what I mean? As the songwriter perspective, I'm just trying to like get you to like open your like. Like it can literally be like five bars and repeat it over and over with some rock shit and some rap beats in the back, like. Yeah, I mean, I, I see that song more of a pop song, though. No, but I'm, you don't see that as more of a pop saying, I'm just giving you an example of how how it's moving, the industry's moving towards, like, where that particular song is, like, four bars, just repeated over and over. Right. Hey, the Lay It Down song was by um, my man, Serena, somebody in the comments, Jay Nova. So if you look at Jay Nova, she'll pop up right away. Beautiful singer, live and everything. I think she's, like, kind of. I think she's kind of blackballed a little bit just because she keeps impersonating Beyonce, but that's another story. Her, her music's fire, and she wrote, like, classic songs, too. But, um, hey, salute to you, bro. Peace, peace. So sweet. Peace. How y'all doing? Peace, God. Hey, hey shout out. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah. Yeah. Shout I think out. To, to y'all point, I just wanted to hop in real quick on y'all point regarding rock music. Um, you know, rock and roll actually was invented by black people, so that kind of, like, ends the whole concept of rock not even being our thing or being you know something that's separate from us and our generation and things of that nature you know rock was originally created by people of color you know what i mean and sometimes we get away from that because we think about people like elvis like with the rock and roll where they he famously stole rock music from black people so you know what I mean? Not to keep going in on the rock uh, concept, but I think more so the universal conversation that we're having here is just knowing that uh, being a person, a melanated person, you're on a spectrum. 
You know what I mean? And you can be on any point in that spectrum, wherever you see fit, but just know it's a complete spectrum. You're not, you know, limited to that one point or that one dot. And that's not just to you, brother. Of course not. It's more so to the larger conversation because somebody listening right now could be thinking like, man, I've been working in, I've been working in retail my whole life. That's all I know. Or I've been running the streets my whole life. That's all I know. Or I've been doing this, that, and the third, and that's all I know. And we don't acknowledge what we're speaking life to because at times we speak life to something that literally is causing us to hit a fucking wall. Instead of saying, I do this, that, and the third, and so, or I do this, that, and the third, but then I will do this. Like, it's kind of like giving yourself that, that asterisk beside what you're saying that you do, what you've done, and saying, uh, yeah, I might not be comfortable with doing this right now. That's not the phase I'm in, but subconsciously you're literally putting the word not into your vocabulary you know what i mean like you're literally subconsciously submitting to the idea of not having it compared to yeah i do this that and the third i'm currently in this you know it's, it's just little things like that in terms of the words that we use that make the world a difference like literally so yeah, yeah i ain't mean to butt but too far no. into y'all conversation no, no. i feel you i feel you man no and it's very important to not uh deny yourself of a, a certain avenue um, um I, I never use the word can't I, I have I, I have rock songs written right now you know what I'm saying that's but that, but I'm comfortable using not if that's my true intention mm -hmm. of not getting to it as much as R&B cool. that's just me though I'm not saying that it's uh lesser or better of a genre I mean all, black people created all music it's only debatable that they didn't create classical music that's the only debatable thing you know what I'm saying but I I just want to make it clear. I'm not down in rock. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I, I so, wrote right okay, so I got a question because the reason why I said that, I said that for a reason because I'm getting ready to do a 72-hour log band with my artists and I'm trying to find a rock band but I need a songwriter for them. So I was like, I just, that was just for me to slide in your DM like I need a rock song, please. Like That's fine. <laughs> that's, that's fine. I wrote a a rock dope. song, yeah. I got some rock well, music. Well, I need some rock songs. Now, that's all I want. And, and so, please don't deny me when I slide in your DM. Like, can you can you come to the seventy-two hour lock in and write us a rock song, please? Yeah, I, yeah. That's was a, I literally got a rock song right now that um I did not find a female singer for yet. Ooh. Um, but yeah, hit me up. I mean, I, you know, that's that's, that's cool. Yeah, that, that's cool. Look, that give me a challenge to find a female rock singer. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Look, I'm about to like, the, I, I'm about Paramore. to be on my Prince swag where I'm about to just be making music like and writing songs all day and like, you know, just having them in the tub. You awesome. know what I mean? So, Paramore shit. Yeah. Get a female. Yeah. Rock. Paramore. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Green Day, Paramore, Fall Out Boy, My Chemical Romance. Those are my shits, bro. Those are, I work out to them and everything. You feel me? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. See, I'm more so. I got, uh, I, got, I, got, I got a question though. Since, since we are on the topic of um, rock and roll and this, since we did say that, you know the real establishers of of rock was was the African American group. Why is it that when African Americans try to form a a band or do go the lane of the modern sound, they don't get the same attention as another demographic would? You know why why is that we're shunned from that genre if we're the originators of that genre? That's a profound. No, that's that's a question. That's a phenomenal question, man. I think that. Okay, so I think that uh, there are certain white figures that made that genre more popular. And and, and I want to say that, so basically, when we were slaves, when we were slaves coming into this country, it started off with hymns. We started off with mm -hmm. hymns and no music. All right, then it became blues, which formed with country. And then blue, then rock is just spit up blues. All right, mm -hmm. well, unfortunately, because of the white figures, in my opinion, because of the white figures that were put ahead as the, the leaders within rock and roll, the Elvises, the Amer like the classic American bands, you know what I'm saying, that took the light because the black people didn't have the money nor the platform to put that light. They That's popularized true. it among the majority, which is the Caucasians. That's so true. now we're now we're growing up and we know our music and we only and we associate the white music, I mean the rock music with them. That's why when someone comes out as black as a black person in a rock band, we 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 detach from that because that's not the music that we were uh, associated with growing up because we that's didn't right. have the always have the platforms and the money to promote ourselves in that light. So it's unfortunately just a it's a generational tradition that pretty much I think it's coming to light more and more. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's why, man. I mean, 
you know, it, it is what it is, man. Like, even people know that, people might know that Elvis didn't invent, like, the, the, the jailhouse rock. And mm -hmm. Elvis stole his, all this stuff from the black churches. He admitted this in an interview. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But unfortunately, they didn't have the the, the, vo the platform and, the, and the, the vocal for that shit. So he ended up being a face. So it was like, oh, he invented it. It's like, nah, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But that that's that's the reason why. That's the reason why, in my opinion. And I like to add to that, too. That was a great, uh, very great point right there. Uh, and adding to what he's saying, I think ultimately, when it comes down to why we don't get credit for a lot of things, is because we ultimately, we, we are fearful of establishing ourselves in spaces that were uncomfortable, right? Like, it sometimes is ourselves, right? So like, if we say we don't get no support because Day Day down the block and then Britney down the block ain't supporting me, and then we just leave it at the block. We don't even try to. Now we got our cell phones where you don't even have to market to your immediate crowd anymore. You can literally market it to anybody. Like Mercedes was saying, like having a songwriter is powerful. Neo, The Dream, like I can name so many songwriters, uh, Eric Bellinger, that are getting credit years down the road for things that they've done in terms of just simply dark child, simply songwriting. You know what I mean? So. I think oftentimes we also try to be the face of things that we don't necessarily have to be the face of things and we can still create profit out of. And like the brother was saying in terms of gatekeeping, like we don't have or we haven't had, let me stop saying that, we haven't had gatekeepers to even finance a lot of the things that we wanted to do. So now that we're turning around and having an opportunity to have that, it looks a little bit different. Like some people will say Go-Go is a form of rock music. Like literally, mm, you know what I mean? I it's, it's, it. it's a form of rock music and it was jumping for some years. You know what I mean? Now, why did Go-Go die out? Because music also has its phases. People will say rock artists like Uzi is a new new style of rock music. You know what I mean? You got people like Juice World. You got, uh, what's that artist? Uh, uh, Mario Judah was another artist that's considered rock. Yeah. Now they're not doing it in a traditional format but oftentimes we do look at things to see if it's looking more traditional than it's looking in a new form. And we tend to shun the new form because it doesn't look like something familiar. And I think as a people, we kind of got to get away from shunning the new forms of things and not talking about us for in this okay, call, but Logic, just in let general. Him, let, him, let him get into that because he probably got his own, he probably got a thought on that. So okay. what do you feel about the, like, the new school music versus the old school music? Like, do you, do you be like, mumble rap, you not with it, or whatever the new kids are doing? Like, what do you feel about that? Yeah, um, so basically, um, all right. <laughs> I'm trying to think where do I want to go. All right, so this is the thing. I was just talking to my guitar teacher a minute ago about this, and um, this is one thing that I don't know if people recognize yet, but because things are becoming more and more accessible, um, social media is forming slowly but surely one big collective culture. Mm -hmm. um, and so with that being said, all the old school music that we grew up on, that we grew up on, the classic songs, those are going to become more and more valuable as we get older because they were things that we could relate to and they were pushed. Like, like radio right now is reactive. They're not proactive, but ra radio used to be proactive. Back when radio was proactive, because people didn't have access to their own resources like they do today, today, the radio could then push whatever songs out. Because that happened, they were able to tell us what artists they wanted to push. They were able to promote the certain classics, the Before I Let Goes, the Whitney Hughes, you know what I'm saying? Now, people are more spread out. You know, I don't know if y'all remember, but when I was in school, when I was in, I'm going to say even middle school, it was weird for somebody to be listening to indie. That shit was weird. It was like, what do you, what is that, indie? But, but now everybody's indie. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And this is the same reason why it's going to be less and less superstars growing, like getting older, because there's going to be there's more and more things to look at without being controlled. It's more re reactive. Um, so what I think about the old new music, look, man, if you want to talk about like there isn't like the quality isn't as good or it, this isn't there, dog, this is the most music we ever had to choose from in our life. You know what I'm saying? So I think that is good that we can embrace whatever lane we have 
without having to be forced to listen to it. You know what I'm saying? And the support is going to be the people that are true to themselves, the people that are not going with the bandwagon. The people that are like, no, I, I like the trap rock, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? And they will have their, their own following. And this yeah. is so important because everybody can be unique now. You know what I'm saying? The only thing is, at the end of the day, the common denominator is going to be your money for promoting, though. That's, that's going to be the common denominator. You know what I'm saying? Like, and this is why I want to comment on this. And this is why, man, like, this is why there's a lot of, like, the gang culture that's popularized because them niggas got the bread backing from the OGs to push that promo past the regular niggas. Facts. It's hard mm. for a 9 to 5 nigga to push his music, making just 9 to 5 if he if he doing, like, a minimum wage retail. So he's going to either have to hook up with somebody with a lot of money, which is the reason why y'all say, how this nigga get on? It's mm -hmm. like, he's not talented, but, but he knows the niggas with the money. So he, mm -hmm. he's going to either have to hook up with them or... Get in the game, which I'm not promoting at all. I'm just saying. That's what it is. Okay. And to add to can, e, can I add to that? E, oh, <laughs> you go out there and come back. Yeah, salute the big. Yeah, salute the, uh, the last comment. Yeah, I, okay, I agree. Okay, so we got to we gotta wrap this up. I'm always available for an after show, but we got to go to the next guest. So let the people know where they can find you at so they can tap in with you and we will bring you back on on an open podcast where we can just talk our shit basically yeah. word that's what's up no nah, that's what's up i appreciate y'all um you can follow ambition band DM dmv for the shows we got upcoming we, we booked pretty much until until april ambition band dmv i play guitar for them my page is um as y'all see at tied up t-y-e-d underscore underscore up follow me let's connect let's write let's let's do some live music let's you know do whatever uh, and you'll see through my page what I'm into and everything like that. So I really appreciate y'all time, man. Thanks for y'all comments, man. I, I really appreciate y'all. We appreciate you. you coming through, bro. Thank you for blessing this podcast, man. All right, Thank buddy. You. All right, All right chocolate. Come on, girl. She on here? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Tell us in a, uh, send a request. How y'all feeling though? Real question. How y'all feeling? How y'all living? Feeling good. Feeling strong. Feeling good. I'm, I'm in a good mood today. I ain't gonna lie. That's good. We gotta make sure the host is, is feeling good. You know, both of y'all, cause y'all y'all play an intricate role. So we appreciate y'all. Nah, we appreciate you, man. Kicking knowledge with us, sitting through, just kicking knowledge, just vibing. You know, just letting the people know. Some sometimes you got the knowledge and facts people don't know about. Once they hear it, they're like, oh man, I never knew that. They go research on it. Y'all heard, speaking on that, y'all heard about what happened with Bank of America today, right? No. Uh, let us know. So with Bank of America, Bank of America got called out because a lot of their members were missing funds from their accounts. Oh. Like literally, some people's accounts were going to the negative, the money that they already had in there. So basically, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Peace, peace. Basically, can I hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. What's up, y'all? I'm at my show right now. Really, I'm multitasking. I'm going to host you. Oh, what's good, though? Hey, what's up? Okay, so you multitasking. Well, let the people know where you from. Huh? Let the people know where you from. Let you know when I get off here. No, I said let the people know where you from. Oh, I'm from Savannah, Georgia, bitch. Oh, God. Yeah, 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 Hey, yo, yeah. she, yeah. Yeah. We, we, we live a goddamn Wednesday. Let's go, Jack. Yeah. Hey, yeah. what's up, with y'all? Thank y'all so much for having me. Hi, everybody. Hey, hey y'all. Oh, I fucking love her. She said, I'm from the back. Yeah. Here, because we outside. Y'all a lot of gang shit. Yeah. Hey, y'all, don't call me while I'm drunk. Oh, oh Lord. Shit. <laughs> it's about to be a show. You said what? It's about to be a show. Man, hold on. I gotta take this damn jacket off. Best friend, love, best friend. We love, best friend. We love. Hey, what's up, yeah. best friend? What's good, best friend? Ooh, hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. 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 Okay. So tell the people, okay, so you're from Savannah, Georgia. Period. What you do? I rap. 
All right, better than your bitch. All right, better than your daddy. All right, better than your grandpa. Oh. All right, better than your other ass mama. Oh. All right, better than. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> you know what she said? Oh my god. <laughs> right now. Savannah Georgia is now fucking playing with her. Okay. Period. And that's and really, look, I'm from Savannah, but I was raised in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Shout out to two six. And hey. what she talking about? Uh, okay, oh, Fayetteville. Okay, Fayetteville. Okay, Fayetteville. Hey. I got some family. Okay, so how long you been doing music? I've been rapping for two years, but I didn't take this shit serious till goddamn last summer. For real, for real, shit. Okay, okay. Can y'all hear me? What made you take it serious? What happened? You got a lot uh, of What made me take it serious? You know, I rap for this nigga that I did book and he lit his fuck. And when he was like this, I'm like, yo, I'm late, bitch. What are you talking about? And you know, I got a lot to deal with them, and that's just how it went. You know, a little oodle, you know? And yeah. This is oodle. Yeah. Oodle. 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 You know, I'm trying to, I hope the first nigga take me out of the street. Bitch, I don't love it here. I like being inside. Hey. Okay. When, when, you, when you doing your tour? When you doing your tour and coming to D.C. then? Right. I don't know, shit. Everybody been telling me different places to come. Uh, I know Texas reached out. Louisiana definitely want to come out there. I can't even say too much about Louisiana. Because if I did, then then I'll tell y'all what I, oh, I can't even tell y'all what I want to tell y'all. But just know that I'm lit. Oh God! Oh God! I'm the. I swear to God. Oh, but you gonna you gonna have to stop. You gonna have to stop over here. Stop by over here. You, you Where the hell is over here? Definitely. You got plugs. Yeah. Where the hell is over here though? Oh, uh, hey, 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 hey. Huh? DC. Y'all in DC? Yeah, we in DC. Y'all with the white people? Mm -mm. I got warrants. I can't come out there. She talking about the white oh, people. Oh, oh, no, you you better ask somebody about the city. Hey, I don't know if I can come out there. I got warrants, man. I don't know about all that. But I just come out there and, and turn y'all shit up. <laughs> and you, you gotta ask somebody about Chocolate City before you call this bunch of white people. You gotta ask somebody about Chocolate Drop before you tell them to come to the city. That's what I'm that. saying. Cho chocolate <laughs> Drop. <laughs> chocolate <laughs> Drop gotta be to come to the Chocolate City. Okay. Cause what? Mm -hmm. Doctor Drop got come to the Chocolate City, and I'm hyping hey. my black. What? Oh Lord! That's a little fun. It's the best place to live and be black. It's the most successful, most wealthiest black people that live in this area, girl. You better get here. Period. Period. But the white man also know that he be trying to get me. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. Look, like, like, you you gonna be. Good when you get here. You're protected. Yeah, y'all about to secure me like I got presidential security, bitch. No cap. There you go. Residential security. Is it, is it okay, don't travel. Okay. So what you you said what happened? You plan on doing with your music? What I plan on doing is keep turning the fuck up. Cause what? Look who's he say? Just say what they want. This ain't what they want. What? My album dropping January 31st. All right, y'all better come out or y'all gonna get shot at. Period. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm playing. Oh, like, yeah. like, yeah. yeah. I'm about to touch out. 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 Hold on. I gotta make sure I'm about to touch out. It's 2,000 people in the club. What's up? Hold on now. Okay. I got y'all. I got y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to get right. Yeah. Stop like that. Don't leave. What you want? Okay, what you want? Android, babe. Who got an Android? Who got an Android? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. The one that looks like a bitch. Hey, 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 Man, somebody oh. told my motherfucking mama. I'm about to turn this whole bitch up on my mama. Oh. What you had said, though? I, I said, what you...
you sipping on? That's my question. What you sipping on? I'm Where sipping on something called lemon drop. And you know I need put it because I'm chocolate drop. But let me tell you. Okay. Oh, but that's you, got, you, you got music? You got music? Hell yeah, I got music. I'm a rapper. You ain't what telling about me, man. Right. You, you ain't telling about me. Did, did you send your music through? Where your music at? Man, y'all asking for too much. Y'all gotta hold on. Y'all gotta hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This whole live gonna stop if I try to send some shit in. <laughs> let's go. Let's do it. You, we got. We got. So we got one point two. Come on, let it. I'm trying. I'm about to post, I'm about to post it for you real quick. Give me a, give me a little minute. You say, yo, you about to post much. it. Why y'all just can't tell me the email? It's right there. Boss of DMV at gmail.com. It's, it's, it's boss of DMV at gmail.com. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Right oh, there. Give me five seconds. Do not end me off this live. I'm going to block all of y'all. Oh, man. Oh, oh, damn, we, we, we love Savannah. We, you just got, you got to hurry up a little bit, though. You got to show, I got you, you got to keep hold up, hold up, hold up. Back up, DMV uh, at Gmail. I got you, hold up. <laughs> damn, she said we got, she said we got, energy. she said we got pull up, she said we got pull up, but we getting shot at. <laughs> damn. <laughs> What's good, Hash <laughs> God? Hey, what's up, Ashcott? What's good, Gino? Damn. She job Yeah. Wow. Hey, I see your request, Big Mark. Uh, Big Micho. Gino said I got so many questions. Shit, <laughs> we didn't oh. <laughs> Yeah, we got some questions. Okay, yeah. Okay. 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 All right, we got that. that, that yeah. drop, drop the Y'all don't caught me at a drunk moment. They need to turn that motherfucking music. Everybody, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna play this song. Everybody go on mute. Everybody go on mute. Okay, okay, baby, baby.
Tatum, when is your verse on the song? When is your I verse? I was the first one. It's my song. Hell. <laughs> Uh, let's go, chocolate drop. Yeah. I'm about to mute myself right now. Hey, DJ, run that shit back. Run that shit let's back. Let's go. DJ. Everybody go on mute. Let's turn up. Hey, yo, that's a wild oh, shit. Hey, 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 shout out, shout out. Hey, Chocolate Drop, appreciate you coming through, man. That got some crank. Got some most definitely got some crank. You must most definitely have to tap in and stop by on your little tour. Hello? Wi-Fi fucking up. Yeah, she said add me back. She said add me back. That joint cutting out on her. Oh, well, we got, we gonna have to, uh, hold on, all right, hold on. She said nigga fucked her wig off, had her <laughs> lashes going crazy. What'd she say? What'd she say? <laughs> oh. Right. Okay. Next guest. Uh, who, who, we, who we got coming next? Rats. Hey, shout out to Chocolate Drop, yo. Shout out to her. Yeah. Lashes on her forehead. Hey, we don't know what happened to Mr. Elijah, but shout out Mr. Elijah Divine, man. Hey, shout out Hash God OG. Gino, tap in if you still in here. Hey, Gino. What's good, y'all? Hey, go crazy on the comments, man. What's good, y'all? What's good, y'all? If you show love, show love, show love, show love. Hey, shout out Chocolate John, most definitely. It most definitely was a vibe tonight. She most definitely brought some 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 Georgia vibes in the in the vibe podcast tonight. Yes, that, hey. she got a lot of energy. I'm like, come on, y'all. We ain't got time to be doing this tonight. Come on, you know. I I'll be out to anybody, even though I'm always with Yeah. Oh, uh, what's up, good people? Hey. What's up? What's up? What's up? Good evening. How you doing? I'm awesome, man. Shout out to the most high, man, for waking us up today, man, and keeping us coming. Hey, man, man. That's a blessing. Shout out, shout out for real. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How y'all feeling? Feeling wonderful. How are you feeling? And I'm great, I'm great, I'm great. First of all, can I give a major shout out to my son? This is clothing brand right here. Baby Go Clothing, man. Y'all check him out, go follow him. Oh, well, hey. are you, you got Tonga clothes? Because my baby is a brand ambassador. That's awesome. We actually, um, we working on the second season right now. Um, If you follow us, y'all can check out the page. We did a lot of major work. We, um, we actually launched back in June of 2021. With um Pat is dope at his store in Bowie. 
And um, ever since then, we kind of just, you know, kept the ball rolling. We uh, the the uh, baby goat is actually an acronym, and it stands for Born Already Better Yet Greater Only is Trash. And you know, we we chose that because the world almost has a stigma or tries to you know create or set a narrative for young black boys. And you know, we're gonna change it, and we're gonna change it unapologetically. So you know, we we we. we it, we was born goats, man. They they can't define us. We define ourselves. It, 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 I, I got a question. You say uh, create a narrative. What what type of narrative you mean? You did they try to create for our young our young black men out here? Uh, you know, um, just the you know me and my me and my son just just that for example. We started the brand together. They'll try to they they painted a narrative that black fathers and sons don't have a certain relationship or that we're just absent period and if you look at the statistics it's more uh absentee fathers of other races than it is you know black fathers but they don't show those statistics so you know we're just trying to show young black boys that you know you can your environment can look a certain way but that don't mean you gotta conform to it but mine is your paintbrush world is all right be raps and requests Hold on, we're not about to cut your interview short. We're going to let him introduce himself, and then we're going to tap into the subject. Oh, for sure, dude. All right, finish keep, uh, until he send a request. Cause at this okay. point. Um, but, yeah, you know, just just basically that you you can the, – the world is your canvas, so paint it the way you choose to. You know, don't let nobody box you in. Don't let nobody tell you, you know, what your your life has to be. You know, because as it says in the Bible, you know, you, it's not yet seen what you shall be. You know, your your life can start out one way, and in, in a total, you know, in a in a totally different different end of the spectrum. So you know, we just want to change that, man. Like I don't I don't want these young black children feeling like you know feeling hopeless. And I see it's a spirit that is sense of that around the city. It's kind of you know a, a sense of love, just just being lost. And you know, everybody call themselves OGs, but uh, OG don't just mean because you you older than a you know a young and out here just because you're just because the the age on your birth certificate. If you're not really out here being an example, if you're not really pouring into the young, and if you're not you know setting a certain standard, bro, you just another nigga language that's older than the dude. You know what I'm saying, and and I'm kind of tired of it because it's it's babies out here losing their lives. Hey. And you know we we trying to hold politicians and people like that accountable. And you know I've I've been victim of it myself, but at the same token, it start right here. It start with us. It start with the parents. It start with certain conversations being had amongst the community. Ain't nothing. Who said he sent a request? I'm sorry, not to interrupt. Yeah, I'm sending a request. I don't, I've been accepting it, and I even applied for it. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah, so I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying, like, I don't know what's going on. So I'm just saying, like, 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 I'm just I'm sorry. I'm like so apologize. I apologize for interrupting you. I love you. No, it's it's okay, sweet. Uh, so I got so what, what you feel about the direction they are trying to put our uh our, our young our young guys to? Cause I see that the direction they trying to promote that everybody should be a rapper. Do you know? I feel like there are more different lanes. A DMV rapper says unable to uh, says you're unable to join, but it says uh, you know. We, we, it's not they're not showing different uh showing our young guys different avenues to go than just being just a rapper there's so many ways you can get money so many ways you can you know you know get st stability in life there's so many ways you can uh you know go on certain careers and just you know create a whole a whole life and atmosphere you know family for yourself so how, how do you why, why do you think that you know they're always trying to push like everybody can be a rapper i mean bro how will you how does the cancer spread? It starts in one space and then it kind of like, you know, spreads out. So, you know, they gonna plant these seeds in certain communities. Like they don't tell, you know, and I'm and I'm sorry to say this, I mean this and as far as Caucasian people, like they don't teach their kids to be rappers and shit like that. They know, you know, it's a certain life expectancy on these careers, it's a certain cap on these careers, all of things. You know, they push that in into our communities into, you know, they they pump that and, you know, use our culture against us. 
Because, bro, it's systematic. You know, if, if you don't want somebody to get ahead, you know, you're going to kind of give them the scraps, the crumbs under the table. You know, like we glorify the shit. We feel like, like, I'm a rapper by, by choice and by art because I love the craft and I love to use my craft to express certain things, whether it be my feelings, whether it be topics like these, things like that. You know, it ain't it ain't for fame or the, the glorified, you know, any negative shit. You know, at the end of the day, but uh, the the music industry is kind of geared towards that because it is. You know what I'm saying? When you when you see a J. Cole, you know, he he's a prominent rapper, but you, you don't hear him on every slack in the radio you know what I'm every day. You don't see him, you know, plastered all over, you know, uh, certain tours and things like that. Because his message is, is counterproductive to their, you know, their agenda. You know, the, the it's, it's a bigger picture. And at the end of the day, I just feel like, like I said, it go back to us. We got to start showing these youngers. Monetize your ideas. Like, my son, he's a he's an actor. He goes to Duke Ellington. He's been doing this since he was four years old. Like, I let him gravitate to what he liked. And then we found a way to, if this is what you really want to do, now we're going to enhance it. We're going to nurture it. We're not nurturing these youngers and their ideas because we're not even talking to them. We're kind of talking at them. And if you was to sit here and just talk at me all day and never, you know, ask or never, you know, you know, just even care or consider what, what I had to think about the situation or what I had to think about my own life, eventually I tune that shit out. And I'm going to go to what I see is is obviously glorified or what, what the world tells me is cool. Because I know don't nobody give a fuck what I think is cool or what, what I like anyway. So I'm going a, I'm to a go, go be a follower. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's showing these youngers what, what it is to stand out, to pick a trade, to to even in music. You don't just got to be a rapper, bro. Like, it's so many different jobs. Like, I think Cherry just said a second ago, she's an A&R. Like, that's a prominent job in the field. You can make a, a better living than an artist sometimes as an A&R. You know, but if nobody's really educating you on the business of, you know what I'm saying, of this thing, like, a lot of people don't realize it's called the entertainment it's called we're rappers. That's why I hate when these so-called street niggas be like, I ain't no rap nigga. Well, then, bro, go put the pen down and shit and go back out there to the street because it sound like you in the studio rapping. It's a business. Go be a rapper. Get your business together, boy. And right. Get your BMI together. Get your ass cap together. You right. know, get, get certain things put in place so that you can, you know what I'm saying, take care of your family off of this because it ain't about the clout and shit. At, at the end of the day, we supposed to be trying to get paid. Excuse me, Boots. Yeah, I think everybody gonna have to hop off and hop back yeah, that's on. That's what I said. At nine o'clock, yeah. can you restart the live? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, nine o'clock, we can restart the live. Yep, sure. No problem. For sure. But yeah, brother, I, I most definitely I stand on your standpoint, man. Like I, I, I cannot, I could not disagree more. Like, you know what I mean? So, so, hey, Mercedes, you got something? No, I don't got nothing. I'm like preparing for the live to end. That's it. Someone said, "Ain't nothing wrong with free call music." Mm. <laughs> I don't feel like it's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> so these things is just dying just, every night. Right? I, mean, I, I can't. I can't say that though. I mean, it is. It's counterproductive, but you can't. You can't post R.I.P. and cry your heart out when these babies dying, and that's all the fuck you talking about, bro. You are what you talk about. You are what you think. You know what I'm saying? You create your... Peso and Peso, all right. Well, Peso, when we come back, we're going to add you, and you going to skip the line. We're going to talk about it, and then we're going to get a different perspective. For sure. So, we'll just go ahead and end the live now, because we did then bring them back. Hey, everybody take y'all pictures real quick, because we about to end the live, bring it back up, episode 22. <laughs>